Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the automation email for VIX forms. It does not matter if it's subscription form or contact form or questionnaires, all forms work the same. It is great for you to keep warmer interactions with your customers and send documents to them, links to them, or more information about yourself. So whenever they fill in the form, they will get this email automatically. Okay, now let's go ahead to uh, do the uh, automation email. Let's back to the editor here. You see here, if you don't do the automation here, after you submit the forms, you will see this message. Thanks for the submitting. There are more, no more information about it. So usually it is great if you can send automation uh, email to work on your visitors. Let's go ahead to click on the Wix forms here. Remember, don't click on the field. If you click on the field, you just do the editing on the field. You go to the Wix form. You see the forms here, okay? Do the form setting. And then we'll do the settings first. You need to remember the name here for later to use. Since you might have different forms, and when you do the automation, so you only target on the forms you want to target. If you have the several or different contexts, then you, you name them into a more specific way. Now we only have one contact form, so we just leave like this, and then we'll go to automations. There are several default automations here already. You can go ahead and click on this one directly. Okay, so now this is uh, uh, called send uh, thank you to the visitors that submit form. Maybe you say thank you for the contact uh, people. You know, it, and if you have maybe contact one, contact two, then you have to be more specific. This is just for you to remember it since you might have more automation to set up so you will not get confused for it. Okay, now let's go to the first one, trigger. When the visitor submit form, this is the form, okay? And then you need to choose which form, not any form, and unless you want it, otherwise you need to uh, click on the uh, specific form here. Uh, form's name, you see, you, can, you have your uh, subscribers and your contact. You click on the contact. Um, and if you want to have both, and then click on both, and then you make sure your emails works for both. Okay, so now let's click on the contact. Okay, apply, and that is ready. And then we go to this one, send email to the contact. So this is the send email to contact. You see there are more other options. I will uh, show you later about these things, but this one, make sure you send email to the contacts. Okay, and sender's details here. If you are the new uh, Wix users, you have to update this one and confirm your emails from email inbox and uh, to make sure this is email is working just for them to uh, double check if your email is correct email. Okay, and then we do the email editing. So here this is the, they have the template already. You can go ahead to do the template editing. The uh, template you are seeing now is very smart uh, designed. You can, you can see, you can click on anywhere and we'll change the image, change your logos, change text directly, and uh, be uh, flexible with all of these uh, colors, things, uh, buttons. You click on it, do the design for the colors you want to choose. You can do the any colors you want, okay? And uh, then you can do, okay, for example, if you don't want a border, you can all do like this, okay? And then, for this part, this is the footer. If you want people to share on, your, on their social, you can keep this one. If not, turn off this one, okay? So this is the free version. If, if not free version, you can turn off that one, okay? And then this is the website link. You can change into your own website, okay? Change your own uh, URL here. And then you can also add on the address. You can also add on the phone number here if you want. Okay, and let's go back to the um, elements here. You can add the text, and image, button, dividers, and the videos and link everything here. So, for example, if you want to add a link here, you can choose this one, put URL here. Let's see, let's put URL uh, apply, and then you, it will show like look, they will have a preview of your website. But if you want to just have a, a text. You can just do like this, remove this one, you see, remove, and you just drag a text here, 
they follow the same style. And of course, you can change the fonts also. You choose this one, you can change whatever the fonts you want to choose. Okay, and then if you you want to do uh, settings for your uh, size, everything, you can also choose uh, do the format like this, do the maybe the larger paragraph or the uh, uh, small paragraph to match the same style. And if you want to change the backgrounds, you can go here. You see, this is the themes. Themes is like uh, the general settings. You can have the classic, minimum, and light. And this is the general setting. But if you want to specifically change your background here, you can see here, this is the background color here. And if you want to change the patterns, you see this changing here, patterns here, um, the uh, pictures here. You can even uh, choose the pictures. You can click on this one and choose uh, the pictures from your own Wix website, okay, and upload your media. And after you have done this one, you might want to change the uh, uh, inset background also. This is this is inset background. See, if you turn this, this is inset background. You can go here, customize the inner background here, and you can choose the uh, color here. Let's see. If you choose uh, maybe a bit pink or yeah any color you want, okay, and then you can see. Is I think let's go back to the what, but you know it you can change it, okay. So that is basic how you do the settings for your things, and you can do any of these settings. And if you want to link any text here, you can just choose the text and uh, put on the link there, okay. So that is all about the uh, settings for your uh, email. And then when you are ready, you can have the uh, save and publish here. OK, so that is done. This is uh, working now. And you can do the preview and test. See, this is how it look like. And if you want to send a test email, you can send it to uh, any email you want and do the sending and, uh, and see how it look like in your email inbox. Always good to test. OK, so then let's go back to the uh, uh, setting setup. Um, this is ready and this is ready. And then schedule. Usually, we just schedule immediately. So after people fill in, you will get it. Uh, directly. Otherwise, you can do a custom time if you want. Okay, and usually when you uh, say the frequency, and we don't limit the frequency here. Okay, then you activate, and now you got it. This is your automation uh, email setting for your Wix form. Okay, so now automation is live now. Okay, you can see view your automations. And see, this is yours. This is free version. And of course, you can upgrade into the uh, premium version. You can have more. But this is the one you active already. OK. And if you want to see more like uh, automations, you can see here. And look at here. If you go back to automations here, see, there are a lot of options here. But I'm not going to show you this video. But if you are interested in it, go to your Wix website. Go to the main menu here. See main menu on your dashboard, main menu here, customer management, and then go to your automations. You will see a lot of options you can choose to do the better interactions with your customers. Okay?